Hello, my sewing friends. Welcome to the Battle of the Cardigans, Indy versus Big Four. I'm Jen, and this is my sewing room where I'm going to talk today about the Battle of the Cardigans. I made two very similar cardigans. One is the Harper Cardigan from Sinclair Patterns, and this is New Look 6729, which is an out of print pattern that I had in my stash. I wanted to see how the instructions compared, how the ease of construction compared, I wanted to see how the fit compared. I wanted to know how these things measured up one to the other. I will say that I am a big four loyalist. And the reason for that is that I've been sewing for a long time. When I learned to sew, I learned to sew with big four patterns. And I also learned to sew in a time which was just coming out of the time when women all knew how to sew when it was a skill that your grandmother or your mom taught you or that you learned in 4-H or you know some kind of a community club. Um, home ec classes were in schools, so it was around. People were learning how to do it and do it well. So I learned at that kind of a time, which is why I am so loyal to Big Four Patterns. Indie Patterns always are noted for a better fit and ease of construction. And I think that the big four patterns these days get kind of a bad rap about that. And I don't think it's entirely deserved because I think that they're not out of the loop. They do go a long way and have come a long way in recent years in terms of competing and being able to make their patterns more size inclusive, more easy to construct, more detailed with instructions, and um, a better fit overall. Okay, so let me start with the Harper Cardigan and my experience with it. It is a free download, so you can find the link for it in the description box below. It is a PDF pattern, so all of the things that go with PDF patterns will apply here, which means tons of pages that you have to print, both for the instructions and for the actual pattern. Lots of taping pages together, trying to get them to line up, you know, doing all of that kind of thing. I have never enjoyed that and I never will. <laughs> it is a lot of paper and it's a lot of ink. And I don't like that because for a free pattern, that's a lot of work that I didn't have to do with this one. Um, this had printed tissue paper. I, all I had to do was get it out of the envelope. So, you know, when you talk about a free pattern, I think you do need to take that into consideration. Now, if I had a projector and I could just take the pattern and project it onto the wall and trace it off, that would have been fine. What I did was tape it all together and trace it off. But again, lots of pages and lots of ink and lots of tape. There are four uh, options for length and there are four sleeve options and then you also have the option to put pockets on the sizing goes from an extra small to a 4xl which translates to a small bus size of 31 and a half to a large bus size of 59.8 so 59 and three fourths and then the hip sizes are uh, roughly 34 to 63 inches. So very size inclusive. There are a lot of photos and um, they show you on real people the variations one to the next in the pattern, which is really nice. Let me also add with regard to printing, you don't have to print the instructions if you want to just read them from you know, your tablet, your iPad, your laptop, your computer, whatever you like. They have an excellent detailed list of fabrics to use and needles to use, stitches on your sewing machine to use. This pattern is uh, rated as very basic beginner friendly. So they're going to hold your hand and indeed they do they call it a tutorial rather than a, an instruction sheet and they even have a facebook group 
for more support if you need it. Again, with regard to the PDF document that you get, you can print an individual size. So you don't have to print all the lines. You can print just one of the lines that's your size. It has some great notes on working with knits and knits are difficult for me. I learned with cottons, um, you know, like quilting cotton, broadcloth, all of the cotton variations, the woven fabrics. Knits can be tricky because they want to stretch out of shape. But a lot of people who are learning to sew like them because you don't have to worry about fit as much because things will stretch. Well, I am not a fan of that, but what I did appreciate about this pattern was that they had a lot of information about knits, what kind of knits to use, um, what kind of knits not to use, and the sorts of things you're going to run into if you use this kind of knit. They really do hold your hand through the instruction tutorial process. These, this feels like it was written by teachers. So yeah, if you are just starting out, this is a great pattern for you. Couple things I noticed when I was constructing this. One thing is they have one fourth inch seam allowances. So quarter inch seam allowances. I didn't like that at all because it really doesn't give you any wiggle room. You can't uh, make a mistake at all. <laughs> and uh, I, I like having a little more of a seam allowance there to work with. And so, yeah, not a fan of the quarter inch seam allowance. If I were going to do it again, I would increase that seam allowance when I traced off the pattern. I do think that there could have been a cleaner finish at the bottom of the front band here where it meets the hem. Um, basically, you just, um, you finish the hem band all the way down and then you turn the hem up. And I, I really didn't like that nearly as much. Uh, I thought there was probably a cleaner way to finish that hem so that, or that corner, so that it was going to lay better and not want to curl. Although, you know, the fabric I used was an offcut from Walmart, and this is not expensive fabric. This is a fairly loosely woven um, sweater knit. And um, I think it turned out really nicely this uh, sweater knit doesn't lend itself really to top stitching. This would be better if it were, well, with regard to the top stitching, it would be better if this were a stable, like a cotton, 100% cotton interlock or a cotton poly interlock. I think this would be perfect in a fleece. I think it would be a cozy, fun, nice, you know, wintertime cardigan that would feel really good on. It does fit really well. I am fairly impressed with the fit. So um, it's a nice cardigan. I needed a navy cardigan. And so I, I am glad I made this and I will wear it. So that's basically everything about the Harper cardigan from Sinclair Patterns. Now let's talk about New Look 6729. Uh, this is not just a cardigan pattern. While you get all the variations with the Harper, you get an entire wardrobe with the new look pattern. So you get a cardigan, a tank top, a t-shirt, a skirt, and a pair of pants. So uh, you don't get the variations on the cardigan. If you're looking for a cardigan specifically and you want variations on that, this is not the pattern that would be good for that. But if you want a cardigan with other stuff uh, so that you can make a wardrobe, this would be good. So a little bit of a difference there. There are five pattern pieces. They are printed on the tissue and the tissue is just regular pattern tissue like this. And all the sizes are printed on the tissue. So um, it's right there. There are five pattern pieces. Um, let's see. This comes in a size small to an extra large. So that translates to a bust of 32 and a half to 46 inches and then a hip size of 34 and a half to 48 inches. So this is much less size inclusive than the Harper. Uh, it does give you all the information on the instruction sheet inside. Um, there are good illustrations and one of the things that I really liked about the construction of this was the fact that it gave you the illustration of the cardigan and then it just pointed out the steps and it was so clear, so, so easy. 
I liked that a lot. I thought of the big four patterns, you know, in my experience with them, that was a really well done instruction um, method. There's a lot of information on this uh, pattern instruction sheet as with every big four pattern construction sheet. You get a glossary of terms. You get a key to what all the symbols are. You get an explanation of several things like understitching and basting and I don't know, lots of things, but it gives you all of those things. So if you are a beginner, you may need to have some of those things explained. It doesn't tell you everything, like every little detail about, for example, this pattern has darts. And so it doesn't tell you don't backstitch at the end of the dart, go to the end and then stop and then tie it off so you don't have a bubble. It doesn't tell you that. That's something that you would learn in sewing class. But the dart construction is very straightforward and very simple. So, you know, there you go. I mean, the basic things are all explained. And so if you were a beginner and you picked this up, I don't think you'd have a lot of problem. You wouldn't have a, a Facebook support group probably, but you know, you would have a lot of information. And I think that once again, back to big four, the criticisms of big four patterns are, the, you know, they're notoriously thought of as not having a good explanation of the construction process or of terms. And I, I don't think that that's necessarily true. I think a lot of us ignore what's on the instruction sheet. We just want to get to the, you know, the construction of the garment. And we forget that there's a lot there that's good information for us. The finished garment measurements for the new look cardigan are printed on the pattern pieces. So those are a nice guide to um, gauging what size you want because the finished measurements account for ease. The general instructions for this pattern are very comprehensive. One difference I noted between the Harper and the New Look pattern was the New Look pattern called for you to put the sleeves in the normal way, like a set in sleeve where you sew up the side seam and then you put the sleeve in. Whereas with the Har Harper cardigan, they had you do it like a lot of t-shirt patterns where you don't sew up the side seam, you lay it out flat and then you sew the uh, sleeve in that way. So it's the flat method and then you pull the side seams together and you just sew it in one continuous uh, seam. Well, because I did it here, I also did the same thing here. Uh, this one called for interfacing in the front band and while I think that's a great idea, I don't know that it made a lot of difference. I mean, when you look at them, it doesn't really, you can't really see that. But where it helped was at the bottom of the uh, front band where it meets the hem. That is a much cleaner finish and that's because you didn't just stop, finish the band and then turn up the hem. The hem became part of the band and you finished it that way. And I just thought it was a much cleaner finish and I liked that better. This does have darts and so that lends itself to the fit. And I think it's a nice fit. Uh, I think they're both great in terms of fit. Some things that I did personally, I did. I think I made a medium in each one and I didn't do the side slits on the Harper, which uh, calls for those on the duster length. And I did not do the pockets. The new look didn't have pockets, but it did have side slits and I didn't do those either. I did add cuffs to the sleeve of this one and I didn't really need to. Um, it has just, um, a basic sleeve with a hem and I just it, they were long enough but I really I like the feel of a cuff so I went ahead and made some cuffs and put those on so my conclusions they both fit great they both were easy to do you could do them in an afternoon they both have comprehensive instructions and well this one has photographs this has illustrations you know well I think this has illustrations too but neither one is a sewing lesson. 
And I think that's a really important point to make about patterns. Patterns are simply the vehicle to get you to a finished garment. They're not a class on how to teach you to sew. They are something a teacher might use to teach you to sew, but that's, that's not the job of the pattern. The pattern is just a way to get you from, I want to sew to here's the thing I made. So the bottom line, who wins? Did I like the Harper cardigan or did I like the new look cardigan better? Well, okay, here's the thing. They both fit great. They were both easy to do. They both turned out very nice. I did like the finish on the bottom of the front band better on this one, probably because of the interfacing and this does have darts, but this fits great too. I like the length of this. I liked how easy it was to do. You could do either of these in an afternoon. So tough call, but in the end, what it comes down to for me, because they're so similar in every other way is the fact that I did not have to print page after page after page, use all that ink and then tape together a pattern with new look. So that's my winner. I think it's just so much easier to take some tissue out of a pattern envelope, lay it out, cut it out, and be done with it. I, um, if I had to come down to a deciding factor, that would be it. So in the end, for me, big four wins. Yet again, I will continue to make indie patterns. I appreciate the uh, design and the fit and, you know, the ease of the construction with an indie pattern but they do come with their limitations as do the big four patterns. So it's important to know your skill level. It's important to know what you expect out of a pattern. All of those things are gonna come into play. And in the end, is it a design you like? Does it fit? There you go. That'll be a deciding factor too. So yeah, for all you indie lovers, sorry, I'm sticking with that big four. If I have the option to choose a big four versus an indie pattern, I will probably choose the big four every time. But it's, it's what I learned with. And also my view of a pattern is not always the same as uh, someone else's. So if you want to know what I think about some other indie patterns, I would invite you to watch this video, which is all about my thoughts on a t-shirt pattern. And that's it for now for me. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.